Am I live? Yeah, I think I'm live. Yes, I am. Haha. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I was just trying to find a good size base for this one. I need to clean it up. Hi, Grandson. Oh, I have a I have a friend. A friend just joined me. I'm eating a uh, a snack. Sea salt. Add mame. I love it. Your sister's new dog. That's fun. Oh, okay. I have to be very careful with trying to get the mold lines off of this. Um, or not mold lines, but the supports off of this because this guy just chipped in that spot trying to get the supports off. So, I think I have to be pretty careful. Is there any on the front that are very egregious? <sighs> Thankfully, the front is pretty clean. <sighs> Especially the face area. If there are ever supports in the face area, I like can't handle it. Hi, Iffy! Clavicus, a sanding stick. Okay, I'll get I'll get a sanding stick instead. It's just like some of these spots. It's so hard to do. You know what I mean? Because they're in spots that are very difficult to get to. But I have a little. I've got a little sanding stick. Streaming you onto my TV while cooking. Ooh. Should have a mask. Oh, that's fair. I. Hold on. Is it in there? Let me check. Man, I feel bad moving with this dog. I have to, like, not move the chair. Oh, it is in here. My Bane mask. <sighs> Love seeing the doggo drink from the sprinkler. Yeah, he's uh, he's quite a goober, aren't you, bud? You goober. My Bane mask.
gotta get all the dust off. Uh, Jacob, this is one of the Moonlight minis. Minis? Um, let me find it. Uh, I don't think it's on her one page. I think it's on her other page. Wait, where is it? Here we go. Uh, this one. My mini factory. Here it is. The Cheshire Cat. Whoops. Here it is. Cheshire Cat. I don't think it's a rock Rakshasa. Hi, DA! Covered in mosquito bites. Oh, no. It's getting to be that time of the year, though. That's for sure. I think this one's actually just a tiger. I think for it to be considered a Rakshasa... The hands have to be, like, upside down, right? Like, the the hands are weird. Rakshasa hands are, are very weird. Not if it's the Holly of the Monsters. Yes, I want to enter this into ReaperCon. Um, this is one of the Moonlight minis, and a whole bunch of different uh, folks are doing uh, manufacturer awards, and Moonlight minis is doing a manufacturer award. There's also a manufacturer award for... Um, I'm actually done with this. I can probably take my mask off. There's a manufacturer award um, for... The Holly Monster and Fear Mini, too. And for the Overgord Mini. Yeah. I didn't really sand it all that much, but I'm done anyway. Don't wear it. I don't wear my mask very often. <laughs> um... Did you talk to did you talk to Southpaw Crafts because it's Southpaw Crafts is the one running the manufacturer award, Jacob? I don't know if they sell any of your if they sell any Jacob Jansen merch. I didn't see for Jacob specifically. Talked with Fletcher. Gotcha. <sighs> okay. Hi, Val. <clears throat> I'm not. I should print and paint something for Moon Knight Minis. I don't know if I'll get anything ready in time. Yeah, I mean, it's worth trying. You never know. Maybe you'll just like fall in love with what you're painting and you'll just get it painted really fast and then it'll be done. And then you'll have an entry. <sighs> Ooh, that actually cured quite quick.
sometimes when I'm painting a mini, I just like absolutely love it and I just want to paint it. That's what you'll be doing? Yeah. I feel like it's it's rare for me to find minis like that these days where I feel like I'm just doing such a good job on something that I don't want to stop painting it. I felt like that with the Corgi Mage, though. So it was like one of the only things that I finished so far this year. And I just have to get the base done now for it. It's it's completely painted, but I need to base it. I love it when minis have like a decent amount of detail, but it's not so much detail that it all gets lost in itself. And I think that was what drew me to like this one so much was it has a decent amount of detail, right? But it's not like so overwhelmingly detailed that when you look at it, all of the pieces of what they are supposed to be get lost. It's just like, it's like clean. It's like clean detail. Oh, I lost my, I lost my friend. Okay, turning the puppy cam off. Goodbye, friend. Guess he got sick of me listening to me speak. My primer's almost gone. It's almost all gone. I almost need a new primer. There are no treats? Yeah, that's fair. He's not going to get fed for like two more hours, so he knows. <gasps> Hobbies for happiness raid. I feel like I haven't seen you in a forever. <sighs> Hi, Eddie. Hi, Dio. Hi, JJ. Uh, -da -da -da. Okay. How you doing, Allie? I got a whole bunch of uh, super glue on the tip of this brush. <laughs> it's fine because it's a trash brush, <laughs> but it's still a little annoying. <laughs> I'm doing good. I it's it feels like the weekends are never long enough. I always get to my stream, my Sunday like afternoon slash evening ish stream. And I'm always like, man, as soon as I'm done streaming, it's like basically going to be bedtime. It's not actually bedtime, but it's like close to bedtime. And then I, I wake up and it's Monday. So my, my Sunday streams are actually a little like, this is my last hurrah for the weekend, you guys. <laughs> And work is stressful. I just have to always go back to the stress. 
Why is work so stressful? It's fine. I'm just, I'm just whining. I'm just being a whiny baby right now. It's fine. Okay, that's probably good. That's probably fine. It's good to see you too. I feel like there's so much primer and stuff built up on the inside of this cap. I can almost not even close it anymore. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that like the most satisfying thing when something's like stuck and then you peel it off and it peels off in like a nice line? Work is stressful. Yeah, I do my best. I do my best. Oh, look at all that primer. Yuck. This is probably why I can't open the regular lid part anymore. It's funny because I'm probably gonna have to get a new one of these soon. So there's no real point in me doing this outside of getting the satisfaction of getting all the gunk out from the lid. That was probably the most satisfying thing that I've done in a very long time. Look at that. Wow. Disgusting. Oh look, I can close the cap now with no problems. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm done being a loony. No, you're not. Shh. You're outing me. You're outing me. I need to edit my what is it command. Edit. Froggy the Gamer Girl, thank you for the follow. All right. You're right, I am not done being a loony. 
I'm done for this moment. All right, I can get out of all these other links now. Yeah, and the $2 is the toonie, right? Am I right? I've been to Canada a couple times. <laughs> I've been to Edmonton. I've been to um, I'm completely blanking on the name of the city that's like directly north of me. Vancouver. Vancouver. My brain was just like, bleh. No more thinking for you. Have to hit the lurk, stay wonderful. Oh, thank you, Hobbies for Happiness. Thank you for that raid. I appreciate it. Oh, I have a friend again. You know what I think it is? I think he hears me chewing. I think he hears me chewing and he's like, I'm coming back. She's got snacks. She'll probably drop some of said snacks. And he's right. I probably will. Um, Appa has a completely clean bill of health. His mouth is no longer infected. Um, his chest is all good to go now. He's able to play and he doesn't have to wear a sweater anymore. Uh, I tried taking the cone off of Luna yesterday because she's had it on for like two months-ish now. She's had it on for a hot minute. And um, thankfully her hand thing is healed for the most part there's like a little tiny bit of a scab but i think because she hasn't been able to clean herself for so long that the second that she got the freedom to do it she scratched the absolute heck out of herself so much so that she was bleeding so she scratched up on one of her ears on the top, like in the front, in the front of her face, and she started bleeding. And then she started scratching her chin and she did it so hard that she started bleeding. So uh, I had to put the cone back on her because I don't think that she can actually handle having it off anymore because she just keeps injuring herself over and over again. <laughs> So I think, um, I think her cone is going to have to stay on. And her nose, oh, her nose is so bad. Before, I used to think, I used to think that she would scratch her nose to the point where it would bleed. And that's why the sores would show up on her nose because she's always had... This cat, health issues, they go together hand in hand. But I used to think that it was her scratching herself that was causing it. 
Well, because she's had the cone on for so long, she hasn't been able to scratch her nose at all. And it is basically a giant scab. Her nose is a giant scab without her even touching it. So something's going on with her. And I've taken her to literally five different vets, including one being a dermatologist. And nobody's been able to tell me why she's like this. So she's kind of just had to live with it her whole life. So I think she just gets to be even more uncomfortable and wear the cone forever. Yes, I did get the classes I wanted. Did you get any classes, Ify? This foot got a little messed up. I think I got too much uh, super glue on it. Whoops. That's all right. We'll just put him like on an outside base, on an outdoor space. It'll be fine. You won't even tell. Did everyone else here get all the classes they wanted? The only thing with some is the bones and horns. Oh, I got that one. I am going to be in that one. I think Palos got that one too. Which classes are you, uh, did you get iffy? I want to see if we got any together. Is your husband going to be taking any classes? Or is it just you? I'm so freaking excited, you guys. Too hard. Yeah, that's true. That's fair, Jacob. Mostly beginner stuff. Yeah, I have James in a couple of classes. Uh, James and I are going to take the Bones mashup class together. So that'll be fun. Shiny Mew. Holder Mew's Blottle class. I took that one last year. I really liked it. Mm, we're doing the Friday morning mashup. Or Friday afternoon. Morning slash afternoon. It starts at 11. Whoop. I think. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's that one.
Tigers are so pretty. Look at that. It's so pretty. I'm taking Pirate Monkey sketching class, not the not the non-metallic metal one. Jacob, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Shiny Mew. You finished the last of your Ultramarines, nice. Feel free to share a picture if you have a what picture you want to share? You consider doing the non-metallic metal boot camp? Yeah. I feel like I understand the concept, like, at a high level. It's just putting it into practice on things. It's like knowing where the shadows and the highlights are going to actually be is the hard part for me. But I understand the, like, the blending part of it and all of that. At least, you know, I think I understand it. You needed Yeji's class, yeah. I took that class, um, it wasn't exactly that class, but it was a similar-ish one of that same class at Adepticon. Very nice, shiny Mew. Congratulations on getting your, your minis painted. Honestly, at the end of the day, I feel like that's the hardest thing that a lot of people deal with is just finishing a mini. Myself included. I started painting the Storm Giant and saw that pirate and Cap Monk and Cap Mad Love were also painting it. Oh, really? Yeah, <clears throat> I agree. Doing it that way is probably the best way. Feeling free to show it. Your, your space marine? Yeah, that looks good. You even did, I think, freehand. Unless that's something that's already on there. I don't, I'm actually not sure. I'm not super familiar with space marines. Spees Marines. And Jack and Jack Straw. Thank you for the follow. We're just going to honestly paint this all orange because we can come in with the white and cover the orange back up, no problem. But trying to get the orange on is going to be the hardest part. Okay. 
I think I put both hubby and I in jungle basing. Do I have jungle basing? I don't remember. That'll be fun though. I really liked taking classes with James last year at Rupercon. It was fun. Oh my god. That was freehand. Oh, okay. A certain guy won. Thank you for the raid. Oranges? Too many I wanted to take. I was actually able to get things this time, so I was like, oh no, I have to decide. <laughs> I understand. At one point I showed a friend how I base paint him and he said the lines were so smooth it looked airbrushed. Oh, nice. <laughs> you're still figuring out if you're going to be able to go. I mean, you are like about to have a baby in a couple weeks, right, Swillow? I feel like if you aren't able to go, you have a pretty good excuse. A baby and a house. How's everybody's weekend?
Yeah, I got the boy here with me. This is a buff tiger. They continue to be busy until mid-August. What's going on, Cranston? What's keeping you so busy? Tired from work, I feel that. Playing, running games, painting minis for Gen Con. Ah, Gen Con. Makes sense. This tiger's pretty slow. I mean, I think tigers in general are like beefcakes, yeah? Swagger. <laughs> I don't even know what the other qu saved quotes are at this point. I think you're the only one that adds them, JJ. Quote number two. Yeah, there's only one other quote. <laughs> Is the one other... Oh, we lost the old ones? Oh, okay. I feel like if I was going to have a quote on here, it would probably be something like, I didn't even know I had quotes or something like that. And that would be the quote. I had like 24. Mmm. How do you remember this? <laughs> like, how do you remember that? Your brain is too big, JJ. You need to save some for the rest of us. Was quote 14 for Dysa something that she used to say, that you used to use a lot? <laughs> I feel like a majority of Dysa's quotes were like pretty lewd. Or just very highly taken out of context.
lewd and taken out of context. <laughs> See, that doesn't surprise me. Oh, that's a Dumbledore quote. You got a you got a Dumbledore quote there, Shiny Mew. I actually really like that quote. I want to say most of the quotes that JJ saves are the random weird things that streamers say. Over the course of their streams. And I've said some some pretty dumb stuff, I think on my stream. Thankfully, JJ isn't always here to quote me. <laughs> well, hello there. Hi, Dr. Rhino. How are you? I've legit been listening to that playlist that you have for your stream all weekend. I've been doing a lot of yard work and like housework and just random stuff with my headset on jamming out to um jamming out to the playlist it's been great i want to go to diagon alley and have my wand chose so i don't think they choose a wand for everyone unless there's like a machine that can do it i'm actually not sure but I went to Universal Studios to the um, Ollivander's thing. And they actually picked me from the group of people that went in there. I was told they only ever pick little kids. So here I am in a group of people with a whole bunch of little kids. And the Ollivander, the wizard points to me and says you come up here and we go through the whole skit of like try this wand and shake it at this thing and it explodes and try this one and shake it at the thing and like papers blow everywhere whatever i don't remember but it was so cool and then of course he asked me my name and my name is holly and then he very cleverly hands me a wand made of holly wood and that happens to be the one that was picked for me. So, you know. I did end up buying the dang thing. I had to buy the, I had to buy it. I couldn't walk out there without purchasing that wand. The wand made out of Hollywood. Yes. <laughs> I know you too well. I know you too well, JJ. <laughs> Hi, Wizard Oak. Ah, oh, 
no worries. Lurk away. I'm working very slowly. Hollywood if she could. Hmm. He's got a tail. I did not realize. That wasn't the paint I was using before, was it? <laughs> JJ, bad. <laughs> it's a tiger. Of course, it has a tail. I just didn't notice it. I just didn't see it back here. Some cats don't have tails, you know? Do Rakshasas have tails? Or do they just have weird upside down cat hands? They have nubbins. Minks don't have tails. Yeah. I'm recovering slowly. I have a really bad stomach bug. Oh no, I hope you're feeling better. That's awful. Have to lurk. No worries, JJ. There's a trick that I've heard if you have a birthday button on OE. Wait, what's OE? First time or badge, you're more likely to get picked. Oh! Wait. I actually don't know what OE is, but I think... I think I know what you're talking about. You're talking about if you go to, like, Universal Studios? I didn't have either of those things. It was around Christmas, though, and I was wearing a Legend of Zelda sweater. Like, a holiday sweater. And all of the employees were pointing me out and telling me how much they love my sweater. So I legitimately think that I got in and they picked me to get a wand literally because I'm a freaking nerd. All right, Dr. Rhino wants to show off a pup. We're gonna have to make him get up. We're gonna have to make him wake up. But he will as soon as I grab this. <laughs> Sit. Good. Up. Just spin. Spin. Good boy. Shake. Good boy. Lay down. Boy. There you go. There's your pup. There he is. We showed him off. <laughs> and he's like, oh, I got this treat stuck in my teeth. I don't know what to do now. <laughs>
He gets very attentive when he hears me eating. I consistently get the I also like food face. My favorite trick I ever taught one of my dogs was dead dogs don't peek and dead dogs don't don't wag. Oh, that's cute. Um, Cora's probably in the other room. You're not getting any more, little man. He nailed it, it was hysterical. That's so cute. Hi, Lessness. This is the biggest diorama I've ever done, Dr. Rhino. This is it. I'm not a... I'm not a builder. I'm not great at that. Dinner's here. All right, no worries. Neither are you. <laughs> well, your stuff looks great. So I never would have guessed. my comeback model for Resin Beast. Oh, nice. I'm just painting a bunch of stuff for ReaperCon now. We've got... I need to fix that. I just dropped this and squished its ear. But um, we've got my Corgi Mage here. Uh, this is going to be my I, probably my main ReaperCon entry. You know, if I don't literally destroy it before the convention. Thankfully, I'm using the same color. Ooh, that like almost chipped the paint there. Gonna have to be more careful with it. But yeah. I'm gonna drill a hole in the bottom of this and put an LED tea light through it um, and then sculpt a campfire around it. And he's gonna just be kind of standing in front of a campfire. But yeah. I like it. Anyway. Yes, corgi butts do really float. Can confirm. It's very weird, but I think the reason it happens is because they have so much fur on their chest and on their butt that it like it holds a lot more air or something, and so their butts just like float up to the top. Ha <laughs> ha 
Like, I've had Appa standing in the bathtub before, right? With water that's just, like, high enough for him to stand, but, not, but like, almost have to swim. And, you know, you can push his butt down so that his feet touch the bottom, and then you lift it, and his butt just comes back up. So it's like, yes. Corgi butts definitely float. I still can't believe how beefy this tiger is. Guess he is a monk. Okay. Oh. There is more skin, I guess, fur right here. We're going to spend two hours just painting fur. Actually, it'll probably end up being more than that. More time than that. Alright, let's set... Uh... Let's let this dry a little bit. I need to pick the colors that I want for all of the other pieces.
I'm seeing if anybody else has painted this. I know that Mike Disney did. But I don't see anyone else. Well, I'm not sure. All right, well, let's look. Let's see, we got what looks like a rope, a bag, another bag. That looks like a, that looks like a water skin. the base colors down. Oh, this is a nice bag. Whoops, I touched the bag. That's not even dry. It's not even close to dry. My eyeball was itchy. I feel like when I paint, I should just throw down some base colors to see if I like the overall look of the thing before then going through and doing highlights and spending a bunch of time on it. Don't know if everybody does that or not. 
I feel like the hardest time that I have is actually picking colors for stuff. Which is why I always paint everything purple and teal. Because I know I like those colors and I know how to paint those colors and I know they look good together. And then every everything turns into purple and teal. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing this pink. Pink is the worst color to paint with. It's so thin. Are you okay back there? What are you doing? What was that? Is your chest itchy? Is where your staple was still itchy, huh? Yeah. But you're good. He's been super itchy. Grays and greens. Black. Like my heart. Gray and green might actually look good. Like this gray and gray. With greens. Yeah, I actually, I actually like that idea. I might steal it. Stealing it. Gray. And then this all gray. If it wins, I get 1% of the credit. I don't think it will, but if it does, agreed.
and green. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so many raids right now. <laughs> raid! What a crazy amount of raids. Runic Raccoon, hello, hello, hello! Scott... Scott and Sky, hello! 13 Valentine, Maxim, Hairplane, Opal Shed. Hide the trash, it's a raccoon raid! Thank you for that raid, Runic Raccoon. We were talking about ReaperCon and such. Oh, I may be trying to con some of my community to go with me. <laughs> when are you flying in for ReaperCon? I have a couple Gompla to sit and do with the other half. Uh, I haven't actually bought the flight yet, so I'm not sure, but we're gonna be in on Wednesday at some point, probably like late afternoon slash evening. but I'll let you know. I got a really cute one. He's probably gonna make everyone go, what? <laughs> What's today your birthday? Happy birthday! Oppa says happy birthday as well. Yeah, there he is. And then he leaves. That's a very happy birthday to you, sir. He literally went just right outside the door and laid down. That's what he does. He's kind of a butt in that regard. All right. I think I like these colors. I think these are good good looking colors. Yeah, these are good. These are good colors.
We're good. We're good, we're good. I think I like the colors. Yeah. I'm starting to get excited. Yeah, me too. I've um, I've started a bunch of things for ReaperCon, so hopefully I can finish them. For those of you who are um, in Runakaku's community, and you know, for those who he was trying to get to go to ReaperCon as well, you should go. ReaperCon is quite quite a place. It is a ton of fun. Like, a ton of fun. One of mine needs a base done, even though the mini is done. Yeah, same, that's where I'm at with mine. Your Midnight Heroes is done. I have nothing done painted particularly for the con. However, there are a couple things painted late last year we could probably bring. Yeah. Bombshell is next. We'll get my actual Reaper mini done. Yeah, I... I have two minis from Bombshell. I don't know if I'm going to enter either of them, though. Or if I'm going to be able to get to either of them. It's one of those things where it's like... There's so many manufacturers awards. And I really like taking part in the bombshell one. But I didn't give myself a lot of options for what to paint. So I'm not sure that either of the ones that I have I actually even want to enter. <laughs> I'm thinking about taking the Shadow Dragon. You could. Why not? Why wouldn't you? Was going to do the Major Tom, but picked the turtle instead. <laughs> the two that I had, oh, where even are they? I actually don't know where they even are. So skip that!
All right, I have to be very steady here. I might need my pointier brush. teeth. I'm like so nervous to do this. <laughs> ah. I don't normally get this nervous painting. I'm just trying to find the right angle to hold my hand. Because they're the teeth. <laughs> they have to be perfect. Oh, I messed that one up. I flooded it. <laughs> Try again. Hopefully I can get somebody to show me how to start a Sapa stream. What do you mean? You never asked me to show you. Unless you're saying in person. Because that's definitely not something I could do. 3D printing stuff. That should be fairly easy, honestly. Pretty sure you have everything you need. Look up, um, look up some videos on YouTube. There should be a ton of that kind of stuff. I don't know what 
issues you're having or what specific questions you could have, but you can probably find help on YouTube. I have multiple cameras, a stream deck. You don't need a stream deck to stream. You don't need a Yeti mic to stream. You do need a, well, if you're trying to do a printing stream, you need a camera, but technically you don't even need like a face cam to stream. Hi, Trader Legions. I'm doing good, how are you? The only thing I'm lacking is a nice capture card for my nice camera if I want to use it. Yes, you need a capture card. I use the Elgato Cam Link. It's literally, you plug it in and it works. Plug and play is what I like. Because I don't like struggling to try to figure stuff out. Oh, of course. It's all right, we'll figure, we'll figure that out. We'll fix it up. got a big smile like a big beefy spooky smile but yeah you could totally stream you could, like, very easily get a stream set up. What kind of camera do you have? Do you have a uh, DSLR? Is it a mirrorless DSLR? Because you want a, a mirrorless... I think is what it's called. All right, then you're set then. Just get the capture card and do it. You're you're ready to go. Shoot. All right, that's okay. That's why we fix it up. Yeah, then you're you're totally set.
starting to get hot. It says it's 73 inside. I don't know if I believe it. I might need to open my windows. He's got big teeth. <laughs> Look at those teeth. I like it. I like it so much already. Trying to get stuff done. Are you still, um, are you still trying to find what's, what's wrong and why you get, why you break out, Jacob? I thought it was sil because of celiac. Or it, it, is it not that? Did you find out it wasn't that? look at let's look at our tiger example here black ba da 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 Didn't realize tour tickets were up. Oh, I didn't know that they were either. They must have put them up later. That's what dermatology tried to tell me. I knew it wasn't that tested negative. Oh, okay. Yeah, I hope you're able to figure it out then. I'm just gonna kind of flood the area back with black. This thing does not want to stick. Can we stick, please? There we go. So we're going to do green eyes, very light yellow slash green. I've got to put white first. 
Green eyes and ham, yes. Better get a new mini holder. <laughs> no, it's not the holder. It was the actual, it wasn't stuck to the, to the lid, you goober. I've got four of them. I know they're good. Okay, got to fix up around the eye again. I have about 80 ready to process and turn nice. Do all the really like pretty ones sell out pretty much instantly on your on your Etsy, Jacob? We're talking about Jacob's miniature holders, if you weren't aware. If I could spell, there we go. They go quick, I have a bunch up. Well, this is what we're talking about, this miniature holder right here. Jacob made it, it's beautiful. It's very nice and heavy, but it's not too heavy. Oh, testing out die trays. Nice. That'll be a nice, a nice little addition. Hoping they come out well. I already have a fire ready to go on the CNC machine. Wood is trying. It's gonna be like a hybrid wood resin thing. That's cool! I can't wait to see what it looks like.
Also have leather for the rolling pad. Nice. Dang, it sounds like you're, uh... You're ready to go for ReaperCon this year. Stacy has been sanding the plinths for you. Oh, because there's so much to do. No worries, Iffy. Have a wonderful night. It was good to see you. Sleep well, friend. Or have a good rest of your night. I guess you're probably not going to sleep yet. It's a little bit early, but... Oh, I messed that up. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to redo that. <laughs> Okay. Okay, that's good. I have a horrible immune system. I really need to get back to a vegan fish diet. It was the best I've ever felt. Skin issues went away. I had to find the root cause and nobody can tell me. Here, take this. And oh, that didn't work. Try this. They have me on two months of antibiotics. Jeez, Louise. Two months? That's a lot. Dang it, I keep touching the top right here.
I feel like I can't get a nice point. A nice solid dot on that eye with the white. I might have to come in from a different angle. Put me on duxapent, so I will have to give myself injections every two weeks. Wait, is that the antibiotic? I don't have this much trouble with eyes normally, but I'm having trouble with this one, but I think I'm gonna leave it like that. Injection every week with my type two. It's to help stop the itch. Oh, yikes. Man, I can't even imagine. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds rough. Has me down in the dumps. Does the injection actually help stop the itching? I would imagine even that much relief would be pretty nice. This tiger looks funny because it's got no black. There's no stripes on my tiger, and it makes it look funny. <laughs> Justin and his kiddo. I got my first one on Thursday and I've noticed a big difference, so that's a good thing. That is a good thing. Yeah, I I would imagine if you're like really itchy all the time and then you're just not itchy anymore, that that's got to be like a huge relief. In tires. Nope, you're the first one to tell me. There, I fixed it. <laughs> Good night, Jacob. I hope that you figure out your your skin stuff.
Yeah, I probably will be painting the entire ReaperCon because I have so many glasses. <laughs> But will I paint anything of substance? Only time will tell. I'm gonna shave down the beard today. I always said I was gonna do it, never did. <laughs> Wanna spend time with friends? I will most definitely have much time for friends and classes. With how busy I was talking to people last year, I didn't really get a ton of time to myself anyway. And uh, I did not take enough classes last year, that's for sure. <laughs> I loved hanging out with people. Going to the dinners was fun. Going to the shooting range was fun. Talking to everybody in Artist Alley and talking to everybody in the, um, the vendor hall and sitting around and hanging out with folks and relaxing. I think it was breakfasts that we went to most with people and not, not dinners. No, no, that's not true. We had a dinner with the Pete Ross brothers. I don't know. We, we spent a lot of time with people too. Still waiting for them to do the photographing minis class again. Oh, yeah. I feel like I'm at the point where I could do well with a photographing minis class. Although, I feel like the photography part is an entire, like, other hobby. And I don't care about that quite so much because I'm not doing this professionally. Maybe if I were doing it professionally, I would care about the quality of my photos a little bit more, but... I'm not too fussed about it. Haven't seen it since 2019. Yeah. We got some good base colors on this guy. I'm happy about that. I also need to spend the money and take time to take about my camera clash at the shop I purchased it from. Oh yeah, that that's a good idea. How much was your camera, if you don't mind me asking? 
I don't know the quality of that camera. Because the camera, this camera, the one that I use to um, show off my minis. When I first started streaming, it was just a Logitech C920 webcam. And then I got a commission, of, a large commission, and I used the money from that commission to buy the camera that I have now. I think it was like 500. It's a Lumix. The camera body was 900 and I have about $4,000. Jesus. Okay. Well, you definitely don't need a camera that expensive to stream. <laughs> That's crazy. I have the lens mine came with. I don't use anything else. Oh, okay. It's for more than streaming. I was like, definitely do not need that high of a level. Um for streaming. <laughs> I'm just cleaning this up a little bit. I'm liking this so far. My favorite lens is the macro lens. Oh, what have you um what have you used it for already? Up close nature stuff, nice. I did not get as much done as I wanted to on this, but that's okay. I was hoping to paint a little bit faster, but as you know, I'm a very slow painter. Okay. I think we're gonna call that good for today. We got a lot of the base colors down and I feel like I know, I know the direction that I'm going. I just need to figure out how to paint a tiger. That's gonna be the hardest part. Doing all the lines and design on the tiger's face and stuff. Let's find someone to do a raid and then I get to go make dinner. 
Monster Den! Monster Den minis is streaming. Let's raid Monster Den minis! Haven't seen them in a while. All right, everybody, I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much again for hanging out. I hope you are all staying happy and healthy. I'll be back on Tuesday at 6, although there's no guarantee that I will, because I think I've canceled every Tuesday stream in, like, the past year. <laughs> but hopefully I'll be, I'll be here on Tuesday at 6. If not, I'll be here on Friday at 6. <laughs> but again, thank you for hanging out. Uh, like I said, I appreciate all of you. I want to get more done on this, so I'm going to try to push myself to stream, even if my brain is tired and I don't feel like it. So, thanks again, everyone. We will see you later. Bye!